Oké, shalom, shalom. Kom je ze alle. Koholimla, je houdt bij Shimia Wachai, bij Shimra Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. Jach Nanawa is coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, wanted to touch on this particular article. And, and these are last days prophecies, man. You know, we do them. Now, the biggest prophecies basically are, you know, the, the MOTB, the market of beauty and the beast, of course. You got the World War III going on, you know, that, that, that little hookup. Those are two of the main prophecies, but there are other prophecies as well. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, which the world eagerly calls Jesus, he explains a few of them, you know what I'm saying, in the book of Matthew chapter 24. You know, when the disciples asked him, Lord, what will be happening in the end days? And one of those things that he said was because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold and that's pretty much about what's going on out here man people been getting judged like crazy and, and, and mainly it's women it's these women and children that's really getting judged man I said, I've been saying it for quite some time man and it, 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 and, it, and it is don't get me wrong hey the lord been knocking off a bunch of men too but the, the way these women and these children been going out it's been pretty serious anyway though let's get a little bit of this it says a tv was too loud now a man has been charged with murdering his wife and daughter now when i read this headline i can already see this <laughs> this guy was probably bombarded by their asses on a day-to-day -day basis with a bunch of disobedience and a bunch of loud ass talking. Because when people listen to TV like that on loud, they're generally loud people. You know? And, 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 they, and they generally are loud. You know, a lot of people in cities, see, it's not like living in the South or nothing like that. You know, um, I remember living in New York. I, 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 I really, I needed to leave there <laughs> because it was so fucking loud. So when you leave a place that's generally quiet, and then you go, you know, you're hearing helicopters, you're hearing sirens, you're hearing damn trains, you're hearing calypso music, you're hearing Jamaican music, you hear every music in the world, and everybody got that shit on 100. I used to be, uh, uh, literally, the, 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 all the TVs are on 100, man. You can hear this nigga shit down the hall if you stayed in an apartment, you know? So you're hearing all these noises, you get like a glimpse, a little, little... A little bit of slowdown from it, you know what I'm saying? At a certain time of the night, generally around about 3-ish, 3 a.m., <laughs> then it, it seemed like it was back popping by about 6 a.m. But that should have drive you nuts, man. That shit can drive a, a person to a point of really doing something. But see, this is where patience comes in at as well. You know, you have to have um, real patience, man. You know, you, you, have to, you have to control that anger, man. I mean, I, I get this shit, though. You know, but to the point of you killing your wife and your kid, he ain't go in and smack nobody around or nothing. He just straight took the whammy out and got busy, man. So let's get some more of the story here. It says a dispute over the volume of a family television set is believed to have sparked one Chicago man. And you already know Chi Chirac, right? Alleged murderous rage, leaving his wife and teenage daughter dead over the holiday weekend. Hey, a lot of people call it on 4th of July. Jose Alvarez, and, you know, I'm thinking it's Northern Kingdom, you know, a Jake Northern Kingdom. Because Jake got them problems like that, man. Jake is under them curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Matter of fact, let me get one real quick. I don't want to be doing too much ranting. Let's just go off into this Deuteronomy, one of the curses real fast. Deuteronomy chapter 28, it's like verse 54. Yeah, man, Jake done lost their damn mind. Jake been in America too long. Yeah, it says, um, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. Because now his ass is off to jail and they got another um, son. Hell, he shot the son too. It says a dispute. Okay, we got that. It says uh, Jose Alvarez, 67, stands accused of two counts of murder in the first in the first degree, and one count of each attempted murder, an aggravated battery, 
from discharging a firearm, according to the Chicago Police Department. Alvarez allegedly shot and killed his daughter, Daniela Alvarez, 15, along with his wife, Karina Gonzalez, 48. So he was like 20 years older than the wife, though. So they probably, you know, they had it, you know, had had um, little mama uh, when he was what, about, you know, he was in his 50s when they had that young young lady. So, you know, he's probably, <laughs> you know, a a a a. a Men get ran over in these households on a day-to-day -day basis. I, it, it, that's just a regular, normal thing. It's rare that a man has some peace in America in his household. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, I'm just being honest, man. It says a neighbor interviewed by the multiple lo local media outlets in the Winter City said the murderer's motiv motivation was the volume of the family's TV. The CPD later echoed that alleged motive for the slayings. The incident occurred just after midnight on Monday in the Little Village neighborhood. Mike Lopez told local Fox affiliate that he was sitting outside his house when he heard at least 15 shots. So he was letting go. At least 15 shots coming from his, 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 his neighbor's place. Next, he saw a teenage boy running down the street limping and hiding behind parked cars. This young man had seen his life flash before his eyes and had and he lost his mom and his sister. Okay, it says the frightening boy was Alvarez's 18-year-old son. Check out the name. Jesus Emmanuel Manny Alvarez. Hey, hey, and this is how I'm thinking it's Jake, man. Because you know, um, Jake, Northern Kingdom, they go hard about that mother Mary. They go hard. You here you go. You gonna name your son Jesus Emmanuel. <laughs> you gonna name him that and try and kill him? But you, cause you know they, they believe in the Lord. Yeah, she was, mama was probably, they probably had all kinds of damn statues in the house. See, and that's another thing too, them damn idols, man. That white Jesus shit all over the place. I was just in a, um, a Mexican store yesterday. It's a car. I was in one, in one of their stores. Everything in the store is Mexican, you know, all the products. You know, it's, 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 if you can't read Spanish, you don't know what the hell you're getting. Everything pretty much is, you know. But I'm looking around. It has some really nice stuff, though, you know. Um, and I'm looking around. Man, they, uh, Jesus all over the stuff. That white man, Jesus, all over the stuff. <laughs> Everything. They had memorabilia. They had them big-ass candles. They had them, you know, um, bracelets and, and chains, all dedicated to this man, man. So, and, and like I said, man, hey, see, people don't really be thinking that it, it's just something, you know, like us personally, when it comes to this truth, we know that they're, those things are useless. They're, you know, it's just vain. They're not gods at all. They can't move. The scripture talks about that. They can't get up. They can't walk. They need to be dusted. Birds sitting on them, shitting on them. You know, all these Jesus statues all over the world throughout, throughout the Americas and just throughout the world in general. They got these damn statues out in the middle of the, um, you know, the yard, so to speak. And birds just coming through shitting on them. So what you, I mean, you know, we know that they're useless. But a lot of people, man, they believe in that stuff, man. And they do be, hey, they come along with some spirits. <laughs> you know, a person has a, a, a certain spirit, man, when they're dealing with certain types of idols, man. And these people will, will, will kill you over, the, over um, 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 Jesus. Because that would be the original Greek name, Jesus. It wouldn't have been Jesus because there was no letter J at the time. It, but they don't care. You can tell them that. They don't care. We go by the original Hebrew name because he wasn't a Greek. We go by Yahawashai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. And, um, you know, the name of his father is our father, the most high. You know, they get to call him Jehovah and all these different names. But there's no letter J back then. His name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. But anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, what else they got in here? Pretty much, that's you get the gist of the story. Dang, they named him Jesus Emmanuel. It says, <laughs> where are you? The gun-toting father shouted as he chased after his son. So he wanted to just delete the whole family, man. He wanted to delete. I'm telling you, man. I'm sure all of you know somebody with a household that's just reckless like this, man. You can't get no damn peace in it. Just set him off, man. It says, um... Eventually, Jose Alvarez went back inside his house. Lopez said he heard more gunshots. So he went back in there and started shooting the fuck again. He might have seen little mama still, tw still, you know, twitching or something. 
It says, <laughs> the neighbor said he invited the neighbor, the, the teenagers to seek refuge on his porch. Hey, look, I'd have let that little nigga stay outside. Yeah, yeah, your dad not running across. <laughs> I know that may sound harsh, but he's 18. He should have been, hey, nah, 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 because that could have got him, him into something. You know, there's a scripture that talks about him that, you know, he that medalist in another man. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find it. I mean, I, I get it. You want to be helpful in certain situations and stuff like that. But that could have had that man come across the street and get the clapping at his ass. I know some proverbs. Let me see. Yeah, Proverbs 26 and 17. He that passeth by and meddleth with a strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. <laughs> hey, that, that's a serious scripture, man. Because people do that all the time. They, you know, like a man and woman, they'll be fighting, you know, and then you got some silly ass, simple ass nigga trying to save the woman. I mean, that's a girl. That's a woman, man. You don't be putting your hand. You, and don't know the situation. You don't even know the whole, you just walking by and then you all of a sudden you in somebody's business. Hey, hey, a lot of Jake done got knocked off like that, man. A lot of Jake done got knocked off like that. You, it, 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 it's basically saying, it's like walking up on a straight pit bull and grabbing his ass by the ears. <laughs> like you won't get your damn face bit off. Hey, that's a serious scripture, man. So beware, man, when it comes to certain stuff. People be, because people be bugging the hell out, man. And you got to just let them bug on out. Let them do their thing. I, I'm personally one, one of the ones that just, I'm getting the hell away from you. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what's going to be next. Well, I can pretty much kind of see what might be next. I'm, I'm dipping on you. I'm not standing around for this, man, because, you know, Jake knows he as hell. They got the phone out. They FaceTiming and, 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 and fucking Facebook live in your ass. Anyway. It says, um, police found 15-year-old girl with a bullet wound to the to her face. He shot his daughter in the face. She was pronounced dead after being transported to Mount Sinai Hospital. The girl, there you go, another one of those biblical names, Mount Sinai, right? <laughs> the girl's mother was found with multiple gunshot wounds and pronounced dead at the scene. The boy was shot in the ankle and currently in stable condition at Mount Sinai, according to CPD. I saw the young man running in panic, another neighbor said. Anyway, they got a GoFundMe, of course. You know they're going to have a GoFundMe. But, hey, this old Jake, man, was just fed up, man. I'm telling you, man. Hey, Jake, hey. That's rare, though, for um, Northern Kingdom. Northern Kingdom, pretty, you know, they're pretty family-oriented. You know, they, they, you know hey, they, they'll, be in, they'll be in the house 30 deep. So he 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 should have been probably used to that type of noise. Anyway, let me just grab this real quick because this pretty much you know of course we know that it was the Lord, the Lord put out the hit those spirits of vengeance, but the Lord created spirits of vengeance, man. Um, so let me get this real fast. Matthew twenty four. I'm gonna get verse three and then I'm gonna jump down to verse twelve to the point. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the, the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. But let me get to the point. So the disciples is asking the Lord, you know, what's going to be going down, you know, before your coming? Now, verse 12, it says, And because iniquity... And the NLT over here says sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold. And that's pretty much about what's going on out here. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's a last day prophecy, man. The shit that people are doing right now, man, people, man, look, the, the, the violence in this place, especially, man, oh my. And it's only going to get worse. Only going to get worse. Let me see, because, you know, sometimes these. You get to the end of these, you can just, you know, when, you know this this <laughs> this particular news break app. Once you scroll down past the initial story, you will see all kinds of other stories, the same old shit. Let me see. Yeah, that's the same thing again. Says Lamborghini driver 
who threw woman out of his car causing death sentence after pleading I guess maybe pled guilty um hard to imagine a more innocent victim dad admits to killing newborn he killed his newborn daughter man that looked like it might be an Edomite Colorado 16 year old girl accused of killing ex-girlfriend Osalakia Colorado 16 year old accused of killing ex-girlfriend in front of her younger brother hey people bugging the hell out out here man says this one says i'm looking dead at you man who sent chilling text to ex-girlfriend hours before executing victim <laughs> friend confesses to murder murdering pregnant mother young son 20 years after gruesome stabbing elderly woman posts signs and window to escape home where her daughter was let me see daughter was holding her prisoner and, and abusing her hey people bug the fuck out man it says he held me hostage in my own classroom babysitter who claimed Tyler had fallen down while running charged with murder man gotta watch who you leaving your kids well anyway but like I said them story after story after story man he's just you know Esau got you know he he got the media down to a point of you know he just needs the most gruesome stories and, and people are immune to this shit now. People don't say, oh, man, that's messed up and keep on moving right on along with life. They don't think as to this is some horrific shit. Jake through, man, on that level. Hey, this is the whole America, hey, from the movies to the video games and all this stuff, people in America are very numb when it comes to crimes, man. Here you go, you got this other guy. Let me see here. I might still have it in my hookup. This guy. Or oh, that might have been my other phone, Salakia. Hold up, let me see though. Yeah, I just done a lesson on this one earlier with the two, the body of the two-year-old little girl that they found here where I'm at. You know, Jake them rolled off with her. He done sexually assaulted the mom, and which was his ex-girlfriend, stabbed her up. You know, so people out here bugging out, man. No, I was looking for that one, but you got this guy. I didn't even think that would be a Jake. It kind of sounded about Jake-ish, though. The guy out in Philadelphia that shot and killed five people and injured a few more. Now, now mind you, this guy, he was cross-dressing. They was like, oh, yeah, we just knew him. He was dressed like a lady sometimes. But they didn't know that he was going to put on that goddamn, um, that, 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 that ski mask. They said he had on a ski mask and a, and a um, bulletproof vest. You know, people was probably talking shit. You know, he probably, hey, you know, and he's just random people. So the Lord will take that spirit from you, man. He'll snuff your spirit out, man. That's why we be praying to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah for safety, man, when we out and about? You know, as we travel, as we go to work, as we go, you know, to super wherever, man, because shit can happen to you anywhere in this place. So we be praying to the Lord, man. That's something to put into your prayer. Actually, how about Shem Yahweh Shah to help you get to where you need to go safely and home safely, man? You and your family. You know? So, you know, I just wanted to touch on this. Oh, yeah, you are. Hey, I ain't even seen it. Hey, I've been seeing the brothers putting up clips on this right here, too, though. This Jill Scott hookup, man. I was looking at I was like, hell yeah, Jill. <laughs> Go for it. I ain't into music music like that. But, shit, man, I was, you know, I heard the little, her little rendition of the national anthem. And these white folk pissed. Watch this. Let me go into the comments. Okay, she, it says she does have a right to freedom of speech. Bitch has the right to leave the country anytime. She's ready. See, this is how these so-called white people think about you Negroes. They don't want to hear nothing about what they've done to you. They don't want to hear that shit. But you, Jake, y'all went out here, man. Y'all celebrated this damn holiday like it was yours. And the Lord snuffed out a lot of our people on this damn weekend. Right? <laughs> See? They use all these excuses. Stolen from whom exactly? See, they, they, they don't want to admit. They're not going to. See, this is why the Lord is going to come and fuck these so-called white people up. I may have to do a lesson on this, man. <laughs> it says all humans are on stolen land one way or another. The people that crossed the, the Bering Straits came into America. Watch the documentary on seven tribes. Man, don't even watch no, a documentary made by you damn Edomites. Because y'all don't tell no damn truths, man. The hell out of here. But like I said again. It says, you do not take a song that was written for our country and use it to push your ideology. Well, hell, you've been pushing your ideology. 
You've been pushing that. You've been pushing for, 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 for centuries that this is the best place on the planet. Here you go. You had you celebrated an Independence Day, but you but, but, but while celebrating that independence, you had slaves. Come on, man. That, that's some backwards hypocrite. Anyway, though, that's another lesson, man. I, I, I'll probably chop it up and do something to this, man. Um, you know, how about you? I wish I was willing. With that, hey, like I said again, hey, throw in your prayers, you know, that the Lord, you know, um, keep you safe while you're out and about, man. So with that, call me on shoulder.